Hey everybody, what's going on? So we just got another Netflix movie that just came down the pipe, and this one's called Mindhorn. And if you're dumb like me, you probably thought to yourself, what the fuck's a Mindhorn? In reality, it's nothing. Just the main character's name. You know, kind of. And the main character is basically a down on his luck actor who used to be on this kind of like Knight Rider, Six Million Dollar Man, some type of whatever kind of TV show. That kind of campy thing from like the 70s or 80s or some fucking decade like that. And he had everything. He had the money, the fame, he had the hot girlfriend. Fast forward to now, he's got nothing. Nobody really gives a shit about him. But then a murder takes place and the person who allegedly committed the murder wants to talk to Mindhorn, the fictional character that he used to play. And it kind of brings him back into that old world. He kind of sees how, how you know, way more more successful as old co-stars used to be. Meanwhile, getting roped into a mystery he needs to solve, which kind of resembles the TV show that he used to star on. A bunch of shit happens and then that's basically the movie. Now, lately, Netflix really hasn't done that great in the comedy department. However, I have to say, I was pleasantly surprised. And the easiest way to describe this movie is, you know those friends that you have that are just for some reason really good at puns? Your friend will make kind of like a joke or like a pun or something like that and it'll take you two seconds to figure it out and then you're just like, I see what you did there. All right. Because puns are basically plays on words words that you wouldn't expect from something that's usually pretty mundane that somebody says, and then the pun comes in afterward and turns it into something. And that's basically what this movie did. It basically pulled something of a comedy out of pretty much nothing. The problem with puns, though, is they don't make you laugh really that hard most of the time, and I can pretty much say that about this movie. However, puns do tend to be a very campy, kind of dad humor kind of thing, and this movie might not hit everybody the same way, but I personally, I bought into it. It was cute. Honestly, it was a it was a valid attempt and it was not a waste of time. If anybody asked me how it was, I would say, you know what? It's not bad. Artistically, is it really anything spectacular? Uh, not really. Like, nobody's going to be watching this movie for the cinematography, you know what I mean? And it wasn't particularly well directed, but it wasn't supposed to be. It's a movie about life imitating art, and that art is like a Starsky and Hutch-esque, like, sitcom. So you can't really expect to take this movie seriously. And it's got a few actors you might recognize in it. There's Steve Coogan, you got Kenneth Branagh playing himself in the movie, and then a bunch of other, like, UK like no-name faces that you've seen in other things but you can't place them. But the ending was funny and I liked where they ended it. And the movie's got like a crazed fan who like cares way too much. There's a lot of mildly fun concepts in this movie and that's kind of like that's the easiest way to describe it. It's just mildly fun. Is it kind of a throwaway movie? Yeah, it is a little bit. But I mean, if you're bored and you got nothing else to do, why not? Fuck it. Check it out. It's not bad. And even if it's not anything special, I got a few chuckles out of it. So overall for a score, I think I'm gonna give it a 6.7 out of 10. If you're into say like Monty Python type humor, I feel like you'll be pretty well in tune with the comedy in this movie. Or if you're one of those people who watched The Six Million Dollar Man or any of those TV shows and realized how kind of cheesy it was, then even then you'll probably connect with some of the humor. But either way, it was a decent bit of fun and I recommend it. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you heard of this movie? Do you want to see it? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe, do all that other bullshit, and I will catch you guys later.